Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about characteristics functions. We will discuss about the characteristics function of the binomial, Poisa, geometric and many more as well as the various examples. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar for finding the various videos. What we have discussed in our last lecture that is related to the moment generating function which is available at here and it is denoted by mx. First of all, it's a function, so that means it has some range and it has some domain. So it is from R to R. So we can define the moment generating function as here. So remember, this function is existence only when this expected values exist. How you can define the expected value? That's depending upon the nature of this x, whether it's a discrete or continuous. If it is a discrete random variable, then we can define the expected value as summation of this, which is a PMF. If it is a continuous, then we can integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity, where f is my PD. We also saw in our last lecture that the moment generating functions may or may not exist for all. For example, if you consider the function f of x here and if you try to find the moment generating function, which clearly says that the final expression here, which is a divergent series, it means the moment generating function does not exist. So it means our target is to define a new function which is convergent for all the values of the small t. How you can define that? So you clearly say that this is not defined for greater than zero, but we have to find a function which is convergent for all the t. For that, we will need the convert characteristics function. Again, it's a function, so I denoted this as a phi, and it's a function from r to r it is defined like here. It is similar to the MGF, but the only difference here is in case of the MGF, it is my Tx. But in case of the characteristics function, it is my E of iota Tx. That is the only difference between here is a complex domain. Again, depending on the nature of the x, we can define for the discrete. It can be written like here, with P is a PMF. If it is a continuous, then we can write as a PDF clearly says that this function is existence for all. How you can say that? So if I take the absolute, because it's a complex number, so we can check about its continuity. So it is my here, this is e raised to power iota tx of fx. So what is the, all of you know that e raised to power iota x, what is the value of this is always one. So this value is my one. So it is from minus infinity plus infinity. This is my fx dx. So it is always be less than sign because when you take the modulus value, it is always be less than of integration of the modulus value. So what is the value of this? Because f is my PDF. So this answer is my one. So what is the meaning of that? The absolute value is less than equal to one. That means it's a bound in an existence for all value of the t. Now, once you know, once you define the characteristics function, then the major target is how you can define the mean and the variance. We know we can compute the mean and variance are here. If you look about this expression and here, similarly, you can define the x raised to power 3 and so on. So in general, I can define the e x of r. Clearly says that when x is equal to, when r is equal to 1, then it is nothing but my mean, mu 1. If it is x is equal to 2, then it is the e of x square. That is a central moment about the horizon and so on. Then we can define the two method to compute the mean. The first method is, we can find the value of the mu r is rth derivative of this. What is the meaning is? If you want to find the mean, what is the meaning of that? It is the first derivative of the characteristics function. Once you know the characteristics function, we can find the first derivative at t is equal to 0. Similarly, you can find the mu2. Mu2 is nothing but mu e of x square by using this notation. We can define the second derivative at the point t is equal to 0 of phi x. That is a characteristics function. This is the first method. Second method is if we try to open this exponential, if we try to open this characteristics function, this is the e raised to power, we can expand the series. If we open them here, clearly says that what is the meaning of this? This is my mu1. What is that? This is my mu2 and so on. So it means we can write like that. So what is that? This is iota t. What is the mu1 is? That is a coefficient of iota t raised to power r over r factorial. I can written as 1 factorial, 1, 2 factorial and so on. So this is my here. We will see both the methods in our next. We will see both the examples in the here. For example, 
how you can define the characteristics function of the Poisson distribution and then find the mean and variance. Firstly, we all know the PMF of the Poisson distribution is my here. The only unknown parameter is lambda and the nature of this lambda is my positive number. Now, by the definition of the characteristics function, we can define here. Since it is a discrete function, so we can define like here x is 0 to infinity e raised to power iota tx of px. This is the definition of this. I can substitute the value of this px at here. This is. Now since this summation is with respect to the x, so it means this part is my constant. I can take on this as the outset and the rest of the part is my here. This I can take on this as power x is common. So this is lambda of here. So I can write here. So do you know which series is there? Which series will work on this factorial? That is nothing but the exponential series. So we can write here as e raised to power of this because exponential is whatever you have written here that will be my here. So this is here also. So we can summarize them. We can take e raised to power is here. So we can write is the characteristics function of Poisson distribution. If you remember that what is the moment generating function of the here that is my this. So clearly say that the only difference is replace instead of the t it is my iota t. Now based on this characteristics function how you can define the mean? We know the mean and variances are here. We know this is my characteristics function. So this is my first derivative of this phi at t is equal to 0. So we can see here. So what is the first derivative of this? 1 by iota is outside. What is the first derivative? e raised to power is same. This is my this one into the derivative of this. So minus this is minus of here and into iota. Fine. This is the derivative of this. How you can find the e of x square? This is the second derivative. So how you can what, what is the iota square? Iota square is nothing but my minus 1. So what is the first derivative? This is my first derivative. So I can take the first derivative as here. So this minus is because of iota square. Now you can take the derivative. This this is with respect to t. So lambda i iota is outside. Now you can take the product rule. This is my u. This is my v. So I can take like here. Now we have to find all these values at t is equal to 0. There is no need to simplify that. So what is the value of the e x at t is equal to 0? This value will be 1. e raised to power 0 is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is my 1 over iota e raised to power 0 lambda i of 1. So this will be cancelled out. This will be my lambda. Similarly, if you substitute here, you can see this value will be my 1. 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 So it is, it will be goes to the minus. Iota square is minus. This is here. Again, this is plus lambda is there. So this this lambda, sorry, this is the lambda iota, this iota square. So we can substitute this value here. You will get this right answer of here. Clearly say that this is 0. So it becomes the iota square, lambda square. That is a minus of this. So you can see we all know that mean and variances are same. How you can find the characteristics function of the binomial? We all know the MGF of the binomial is my Q plus P e raised to power T of N. So what you conclude that the characteristics function will be my q plus p e raised to power iota t of n. We will see whether this will be applicable or not. This is the PMF of this. We can start from here. Take this summation. This is with respect to the x. So we can take this everywhere is x is written. We can take the pair of this. We can see I can take this pair of x. I can return like here. What is that? This is nothing but the binomial theorem. This is a binomial series. So once it's a binomial series, we can write here. So clearly say that this is the characteristics function. How you can define the mean and variance? We can again define like this way. What is the first derivative of here? So we can take n is outside plus p iota t of n minus 1 into q is 0 e raised to power iota t of this into p. This is my first derivative of here. Similarly, you can find the second derivative. Or after that, we can simplify it. We will get here because this iota and this iota will be cancelled. How you can find the second derivative? You can find the second derivative of this. This is my first derivative. This minus is here. You can use this is a p n 
P iota is independent of the T, it can be, you can write as a outset and then you can use as a product root. We can return here. Now we can take the values at T is equal to 0. What will happen at T is equal to 0? This value goes to the 1. This value goes to the 1. What is the P plus K in the binomial distribution? This is 1, so it is NP. We can substitute here also. We can see this value is my 1. This value is my 1, this is my 1, and so on. Clearly, P plus Q is my 1. This is 1, so we can write here. So, therefore, we can substitute this value in the mean. Mean is nothing but NP. Variance will be this. We can substitute here this. We can open this bracket, and we can simplify it. We will get the variance as NPQ. How you can find the geometric distribution characteristics function? We all know this is the geometric distribution PMF. By using the definition, we can write like here. Since this is a summation start from the 1, so this p is constant. This q raised to power minus 1, this is a constant. So I can return as 1 to infinity. So I can take this part as a common. So e raised to power iota t of q of x. Fine. Now do you know which series is there? Yes, this is the geometric series. And what is the sum of the infinity of the geometric series? a over 1 minus r. In this case, what is the first term is? The first term is x is equal to 1. So, this is my first term. What is the common ratio is? The ratio will be my again here. So, I can substitute these two values here. We will get this one. This one. So, clearly says that this q and q will be cancelled out. We can write as a characteristics function. How you can find the mean and variance? We all know the mean of the geometric distribution is 1 by p. And the variance will be my q by p square. So we can take the first derivative of this. We can write here. After the first derivative, you will get this expression. You can find the second. This is a minus 1. And you can find the first derivative. And then you can find the second derivative. You will get this as the expression. Now, again, you have to check at t is equal to 0. What is the value of the e x? You can substitute x is 0 here. This is my 1. So it is p, this is 1 minus q is a p, it's a p square, it is my 1 by p. Similarly, you can substitute here, you will get this expression here. So therefore, you can simplify it, this is 1 by p, you can simplify it, p is a common, 1 plus q, this is my p cube. So it can cancel out, it is 1 plus q upon p square. Therefore, variance is my q on p square and mean is my here. Okay, look at these some examples. So, a perfect coin is tossed twice. So, a coin is tossed twice. Okay, find the characteristics function of the number of the heads. So, there are the two methods. The first method I will tell you, a very simple. If the coin is tossed two times, which distribution will be here? Can you find the which distribution is there? Yes, this is a binomial distribution. Once is a binomial distribution, how many times you toss the coin? 2. What is a P? What is that? This is a head. So what is the probability of getting the head on the one tossing the coin? This is here. And what is the characteristics function of the binomial distribution? This is Q plus P e raised to power iota t of n. This is the binomial Poisson uh, characteristics function. Now you can substitute the value. Q is half, P is half, of uh, n is my 2. So I can return as iota t square divided by 4 is the right answer. Now once you know this is a binomial distribution, what will be the mean of the binomial distribution? Mean is my np, so that is a 1. What is the variance is? npq, so that is a half is the right answer of this problem. This is the first method. This is the second method. If you don't remember the characteristics function of this binomial distribution, then how you can do that? We can try to write the random variable and the corresponding probability. These are the two cases. Now we can apply the by the definition. Now here, what is our domain is? x is my 0 to 2. So when x is 0, so e of 0, p0, plus when x is 1, this is my p1, plus x is equal to 2, it is my p2. So we can substitute the value of the p0 as 1 by 4, p1 as 1 by 2 and p2 as 1 by 4. So e raised to power 0 is 1, it is 1 by 4, it is half e raised to power t, 
plus e raised to power iota t by 4 or you can take 4 as the LCM and you can see this is my expression which can be written as of e raised to power by 4 which is sa same as that of the first method. How you define the mean and variance again by using the def derivative of this you can take the first derivative you will get as here. If you take the second derivative you will get this. Now you can find the values at t is equal to 0. So what is the value of the here? At t is equal to 0, this is my 1 plus 1. So answer is 1. At t is equal to 0, what is the value of the e x here? This is half 1 plus 2, that is my 3 by 2. So therefore, mean is my 1, this is my mean. Variance is e x square minus e x whole square, that is my 1 square. It is the right. Look about this one. So in this case, uh, characteristics function is given to you and you have to find the uh, probability of this. So look at that. If you are trying to find the mean, if you are trying to find the variance, but you, you have to find the probability, there is no need of this. You have to find the probability. So first of all, this is the plus sign. What is the meaning of that? This problem is my discrete random variable. Once it's a discrete random variable, you have to draw this table. Okay. So what is that? I can express each of the quantity with the help of characteristics function. We can start from here. Now, if you open this, if you open this, you can write like this way because x start from the 0 to up to how many there? There are infinity because nothing is given to you about the variable x. We can write in like here. When x is 0, this is 1 and so on. Now if you compare them, this is a independent of exponential part. So it means p of 0 is my 1 by 6. Coefficient of e raised to power t, this is my 1 by 2. What is the p2 is? Coefficient of e raised to power 2 iota. There is no term of there. This is 0. This part is coefficient of 3 raised to power. This is my p3 because you can see there is a next term is, is my here plus so on. And the rest all the parts are my 0. Once you are identify this, then how you can write this value of this less than equal to 1. That means x is equal to 0 plus x is equal to 1. So you can write this value as what is a p0? 1 by 6, 1 by 2 is the right answer. Or you can say it's a 2 by 3. Otherwise, you can write like this table. You can see the values are 0, 1, 2 and 3. So what is the value of the 0 is 1 by 6. This is my 1 by 2, 0. And this is my one rest all are my zero and your target is to find this answer as here which is same as that of this one okay look about the another one find the characteristics function of this so clearly say that these are the single point so it means these are my discrete distribution once they are discrete distributions so we can write like here that's why there is a summation sign so now this value is my either one or two so if i start from the one e raised to power iota t of 1, f of 1 is my 2 by 3 and f of 2 is my 1 by 3. That is you can take as the LCM plus 2 iota t over 3 is my answer. Make sure that I will give you, uh, already we discussed in our uh, previous lectures that the characteristics function at 0 is always give you one answer. You can see that this is also satisfied even on the previous one also. So this is the way you can find the characteristics function of this here. We will see our next lecture on the characteristics function of some negative binomial distributions and the other continuous random variables. Till then you can simply like, share and comment on my videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.